The year is 1787, and my name is Madame Ursula Petion. I live on the French colonial island of Saint-Domingue, what you now call Haiti. I belong to a group known as the Free People of Color, living in a province called Little Guinea. You see, my father was a wealthy white Frenchman and my mother was an African woman who he enslaved. But my mother was set free after marrying him and bearing his children. I was born a free woman and inherited my father's wealth. I owned several slave plantations on the island of Haiti and increased my family's wealth by expanding our sugar and coffee producing business. I am also the mother of the future leader of Haiti, Alexander Petion. When my son was a child, I had a vision he would rule over a great nation and make his mark in history. How was I able to foresee his destiny, you ask? I must admit, I am sometimes clairvoyant, able to communicate with the spirits and see things no one else can. One of my family's secrets is my grandmother was an African Vodou priestess who used to be the head of a Vodou society called the House of Rada. My father prohibited me from speaking about my grandmother and our Vodou practice, but that didn't stop her from secretly teaching me the rituals on the outskirts of our plantation. I kept our relationship and my practice of Vodou hidden until her passing. However, her spirit lives on. Sometimes she appears to me in the form of a spider or ghostly apparition, warning me of the dangers ahead. She spoke of a man named Dutty Bookman, who will shake the very foundations of our island. I must possess the power he holds to secure my family's place in this world. These are the tales of Haitian legends.